Hi, and welcome to Beetle Day Spiels channel. Today's video, I will be showing some items regarding the Ringo Starr related film, Candy. So please, come and join me. So hello and a wonderfully warm welcome today to Beetle Days Beetle's channel. Hope I find all you fantastic people doing really well out there. Hope you've had a super week and thank you again for joining me on the channel today. Now the subject for today's showing is the 1968 film Candy which features Mr Ringo Starr MBE in his first acting role away from the Beatles as Emmanuel the Gardener. And also this film contains many other luminaries such as Richard Burton, James Coburn, and of course Swedish actress Eva Allin as Candy. So that will be coming up very, very shortly, but right now though, it's time for something completely different. It's... Ask Beetle Dave, yeah. So yes, welcome to Ask Beetle Dave, where I'll be answering your questions that you have about anything Beatles related, perhaps about anything that I've shown or haven't shown, maybe something to do with the guy's solo careers, or maybe even something to do with the films that they've been in, or the films that the actual Beatles starred in together. Just about anything you can think of, and I'll endeavour to answer it right here. So today's question is from Sailor Sam. Hi Sailor Sam, I hope you're well. And he asks, Beetle Dave, do you think we'll ever get an official release of Holy Grail tracks like Carnival of Light, and a 27 minute Helter Skelter? Mm, that's quite an interesting question. So let's just go back to the Anthology 2 for the moment. Now, Paul actually wanted to add the Carnival of Light to the running order, but it was vetoed by George, Ringo, and of course the estate of John Lennon. So to actually get this released, all parties or estates must agree and say yes, which clearly didn't happen. But that's not to say things couldn't change in the future and maybe get a release, but generally that's what happened and basically this is what keeps the track from being released. But I actually think there's every possibility in the future for this one because there's a lot of curiosity surrounding this track. So as regards to the 27 minute Helter Skelter, they initially released a shortish rambling version on the Anthology 3 and then a longer version on the White Album Deluxe Box. But this is the problem really, it's a great opportunity missed because they could have easily added it to the Deluxe Box set. It wasn't exactly jam packed on those extra CDs. So I think now there's definitely less chance of a 27 minute release of Helter Skelter because if they wanted to, they could have quite easily fitted it in on something by now. So Sailor Sam, I really hope that answers that question for you. And guys, if you want to contribute to Ask Beetle Dave, why not just send me a question in the comments and I'll include it in a future episode. It's that simple. So come on guys, please please me by getting involved and ask me some super questions. Okay then, so moving on then, it's time for... So yes, it's them old shout outs. And it's a great big Beetle Dave hello to John Carcel, M, Joe Rob 46, David Rainey, how you doing David? Angie the Beatles girl, Gerard McMullen, hiya Gerard and Pam, Malcolm Hewison and Joan Olivella. So that's a great big hi to you guys from yours truly, Beetle Dave. So on to the main event then today guys, and I present to you fabulous people a selection of items related to the film Candy. So please, come and join me. Candy was released in cinemas in the USA on the 17th of December 1968, with the UK release being the following year on the 20th of February 1969. The film starred a host of well-known names including Ringo Starr, James Coburn, Richard Burton, Marlon Brando, Walter Matthau and Eva Alling who play Candy. Based on the novel by Terry Southern and Mason Hoffenberg, Candy was one of many psychedelic films that emerged from the late 60s such as Yellow Submarine, The Trip, Head and Psych Out. James Coburn said that the film could have been a lot more funny 
Unfortunately, the director's timing was of a European nature, so the jokes always seemed to be a beat behind. The film's accompanying soundtrack included Rock Me, an original song from Steppenwolf which became a top ten success for the band in the spring of 1969. Candy opened to moderate box office but later became a cult classic from the psychedelic years of film and was the UK's box office 12th most popular film of that year. Reviews were generally positive with a few misgivings. In a review representative of most professional reviewers at the time, Roger Ebert found it a lot better than you might expect but missed the anarchy and abandon of Terry Southern's novel. So let's take a look. So here is then some associated items from the film Candy and we're going to start with the soundtrack LP and this is the UK version and this was released on the 14th of March 1969 on the stateside label which was a subsidiary of EMI and the catalogue number is SSL 10276. So we're going to start with the cover then of course and the top left there we've got the EMI and stateside logos. On the right we've got the original motion picture soundtrack, Candy, songs performed by The Birds and Steppenwolf, and original music composed and conducted by, of course, Dave Grusin. It's a really great late 60s soundtrack, this one actually, really psychedelic. It's got some Indian instruments in it as well. I listened to it the other day, really great. Of course, Eva all in there as Candy. And bottom left, title song written by Dave Grusin and Roger McGuinn. Let's flip that over. And on the top right there we've got File Under, Popular. And of course you've got the catalogue number and the stereo logo there, recorded by ABC Records. There's also a mono version of this which I haven't got at the moment but I'm still looking for a nice copy. And there you've got the original soundtrack album, Candy. Some great songs on here, obviously you've got the one by the birds which is Child of the Universe. And of course you've got Magic Carpet Ride by Steppenwolf which is an absolutely brilliant song. I love that song. And then you've got the cast there, candies sat on, the circled candies, and all the listings of the cast there. And at the bottom we've got the EMI Records Limited, Hayes Middlesex, England, and the stateside logo, the company of the EMI Group. And of course, bottom right we've got the mono and stereo numbers, with the printer are made by Garrett and Lofthouse. And let's just take a look at that spine then. We've got Candy, original motion picture soundtrack. So we've got the plain white inner then, which is a standard sort of EMI inner at the time. Got the patent number at the bottom left. And on the right hand side we've got the Made in Great Britain. So onto the vinyl then. And as I said, this is the stereo edition. And as you can see there at the top we've got stereo with the 33 and a third. Uh, right at the top there on the perimeter we've got the Made in Great Britain. With the sold in UK details there right at the top there under the 33 and a third. With the stateside logo. And on the left we've got the P 1968 even though this was released in 1969. And on the right hand side there we've got the catalogue number with the ABC details under that. And then we've got candy and all the tracks there with the EMI Records Limited underneath that. And the matrix on side one is SYRX 3575-1 and that's in pretty pretty good condition this one, really nice. I'm going to flip that over then for side two and of course once again there we've got that made in Great Britain right at the top with the stereo and the 33 and a third with the sold in UK details there with the stateside logo, really great actually, it's a really great logo that actually, looks really good in green. On the left here we've got the P1968. With the catalogue number on the right. And candy below the centre hole and all the track listings. With the EMI Records Limited at the bottom. And the matrix on side two then again is SYRX3576-1.
So moving on then to my next vinyl edition, this is a USA sealed copy which was released on the 30th of December 1968 on ABC Records, catalogue number ABC OC-9. And there we are, exactly the same as the UK edition, obviously this was released first. Got the catalogue number there, top left with the ABC logo. And on the right there we've got the original motion picture soundtrack with Candy. Song performed by The Birds and Steppenwolf, with the music composed and conducted by Dave Grusin. And bottom left we got that song written by Dave Grusin and Roger McGuinn, the title song. And of course, Candy again. Let's flip that over, slightly different on this particular album. The image actually is slightly bigger than the UK image, as you can see there. You've got the ABC details, top left with all the other details on the right there, Candy, Steppenwolf and the Birds, with all the track listing on the right hand side. Of course it says there, Child of the Universe performed by the Birds. Who doesn't like the Birds? Fantastic group. And then we've got all the stars from the film there at the bottom. Let's take a look at that spine. So my final vinyl version then of Candy I've got to show today then is this one from 2012 on Real Time Records, catalogue number RTLP1004. I'm not actually entirely sure but I believe this may be unofficial but I'm not sure. Let's take a look at the sleeve first then. Lovely glossy sleeve as you can see, really nice. Of course you've got the same details here with the original motion picture soundtrack, Candy. Songs performed by The Birds and Steppenwolf. And the rest of the tracks actually are made up of music composed and conducted by Dave Grusin. All the other tracks are by him. It's still great though, the soundtrack, incidental music, is really great. And of course there you've got title song written by Dave Grusin and Roger McGuinn. There's slightly bigger writing this time. Just flip that over. Of course you've got a barcode there, top left, with the Real Time Records logo. And you've got all the characters from the film in the middle there with the motion picture soundtrack details with Candy, the Birds and Steppenwolf and the composed and conducted by Dave Grusin and then you've got all the tracks and all the other details from the actors in the film just take a look at that spine I don't think there's much on it oh there is Candy there and right at the bottom got the catalogue number so we've got our polyline dinner there it's always great to have those. So on to the vinyl then. It's a really nice thick vinyl this one. It's a great looking label too. Got the Real Time Records there, logo on the left, with the catalogue number below that. Then on the right there you've got Candy, with the Birds and Steppenwolf, and music by Dave Grusin, with Side 1 and all the tracks there. Matrix on Side 1 is 96182E, one forward slash a and this does really sound really great if it's unofficial it still sounds pretty good to me so we're going to flip that over then once again there you've got the real time logo on the left with the catalogue number below that and top right we've got the candy logo with the music performed by the birds and steppenwolf and dave grusin with side two and all the tracks there all the incidental music on this side and finally, the matrix on this side is 96182E2 forward slash A. So here is then the original USA one sheet poster for the film Candy. And this was premiered in the US on the 17th of December 1968. So you would have seen this poster around the cinemas at that particular time if you went to see it. So this is one of a variety of USA posters that came out at the time. And as you can see, you've got the cast there at the top with candy there, sat there on top of a circular image of more candies. And then we've got Good Grief, It's Candy, with all the cast and supporting cast underneath that. Great looking poster, this one. I really do like this poster, but I'd like to get another one because I've got quite a few little holes in this particular one. But it didn't cost too much, this, but it's a great poster. So here is then the original UK quad for the film Candy and this was premiered in the UK 
on the 20th of February 1969. And of course, you would have seen this particular poster at your local cinemas up and down the country in the UK at the time if you went to see it. So, this is the original one, and say so there is a slightly later poster, which is a pink in colour poster. It's quite different, but this one is the very first issue. Anyway, we've got a candy there sat on the instrumentation panel there in the aeroplane with the world's most agreeable girl, Candy. And of course, you've got Ringo Starr, the screen's newest great lover. Underneath that, you've got the main cast, which is Charles Aznavour, Marlon Brando, Richard Burton, James Coburn, John Huston, Walter Matthau, Ringo Starr, and of course, introducing Eva Orlin as Candy. And under that, you've got a supporting cast as well, and all the details, the film companies, etc., etc. But this is an incredibly rare poster, this one, and if you see one, you know, I would pick it up because they're getting rarer and rarer as time goes on because you just don't see them anymore. And obviously now it's 53, 54 years old, and this one's in absolutely incredible condition. So here then we've got a set of lobby cards or front of house stills from the American version of the film Candy. Obviously the premiere was on the 17th of December 1968. So you would have seen these around the lobbies of the cinema that you would have gone to see the film. So there's eight of these in all. They're about 14 inches by 11 inches. So they're quite big cards, but these are in absolutely super condition. So we're just gonna start them one at a time. And these are numbered as well. As you can see right at the bottom there, you've got candy. And just under that, you've got number one. So these are all numbered in order. You've got, obviously you've got uh, Eva all in there on the right hand side. You've got Richard Burton there. And I believe that Sugar Ray Robinson's a boxer. And obviously they're helping Richard Burton there. But uh, these are in absolutely fantastic condition for 54 years old. Absolutely incredible. These are really great looking. So we just pop that over there. So moving on then to the second card. You've got Ringo Starr there, of course. Viva all in. It's pronounced Eva, even though it's spelled E-W-A. I suppose that's because she's Swedish. But yeah, you've got Ringo on the motorcycle there with Eva hanging on. And that's card number two. Got the bottom there, we've got the Made in USA details and copyright as well. And on the bottom right, you've got 69 stroke 37. That's a great looking card, that one. On to the third card there, it's a bit raunchy, this one. Not much more you can say. Eva there sat on all the instruments in the cockpit. And then we've got Marlon Brando there in a bit of a psychedelic scene with Eva. Really good looking car. These are so rare these. If you ever see these, it's incredibly rare to see. There is a smaller selection of cards as well that were about at the time. Which were about 10 by 8 I think if, if I remember. Memory serves me correctly. So on to card number 5 then. We've got Walter Mattel there with Eva. Looking all innocent. And then on to card six, We've got Richard Burton there again. And then card seven, that's on the right hand side there is John Astin who's Gomez in the Adams Family. And he plays two parts in this film actually, he plays, he's, he plays a brother, his brother as well as himself. And that's card number seven. And then finally, of course, Got Emmanuel the Gardener there, alias Ringo Starr, with Eva there on card number eight. So the final item then I've got to show from the film Candy is this UK DVD which was released in 2005 by Cinema Club. And this includes the actual full edit of the film. It's not been edited at all in any way, shape or form. And it also includes some extras being the trailer. So we'll take a look at the front first. As you can see there we've got Candy with Marlon Brando, Richard Burton, Walter Matthau, and Ringo Starr, and it's a rated 15, rated 15 there. On the back there, we've got some information there. Got some special features, obviously, within the trailer, and all the copyright information, etc. And there's the spine. And I do believe it's been released on Blu-ray since, but certainly not in the UK. So there's Candy there, you've got all the scene selections there on the left and on the right hand side 
is the disc itself, region two. And underneath, you've got a little few more pictures there underneath from the film. So thank you all for joining me today guys and tuning in. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing those fabulous candy items that I've got. And don't forget as always I appreciate any comments I get from any of you guys and I will always endeavour to reply to you just as soon as I can. So next week I'm going to be showing something extremely special relating to Mr George Harrison. So please be here next week, same Beatles time, same Beatles channel. Anyway, as always guys, if you enjoy what I'm doing, why not give us a like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. This is Beetle Dave signing off.